Hi everyone, today I'd like to talk about Jiffy Windowsill Greenhouse Kit. Um, I recently purchased one of these. I did a video for Jiffy back like in 2017, so I thought I'd give you guys an update. This is just basically a general all-in-one kit to help you start growing your seeds. And this is just an overview of the packaging. It's sold in a variety of sizes. And the thing I like about these is they come with these little like dehydrated pellets or pods. So they include all the soil and everything that you need in the kit itself and you rehydrate them using warm tap water. So this was just to show you how I rehydrated the uh, pods. I actually had to do it again because I didn't record originally. So you just go ahead and add warm tap water to your um, pods or pellets and they start to rehydrate. Um, if I remember correctly, I think it says it's about a cup and a half, but you can just add it as you see fit. And the pods, um, as you can see, start to uh, expand rather quickly. And I think it will also depend on the warmth or the temperature of your water on how long it takes for them to expand. So once they expand, basically, you just kind of follow the steps in the directions. You're not supposed to leave these in standing water, however, so they don't go stagnant, I guess, or they don't start to um, mold in a sense or just have too much water where your seeds won't grow. So as you can see, they started to fluff up fairly quickly. And this was just to show you a still picture of once basically all of them were expanded to nearly full size. And this was to show you what it looked like when they expand to full size. So all you do is you just open the little mesh a little bit, you tear it open, and then you go ahead and you start to plant your seeds. So depending on your seed size, the package says that you can add two to three seeds to each um, little pod. Since I had bean seeds, I think I added about two or three to each one. And again, it will vary depending on your size of your seed. Um, and this was just kind of to walk you through on how I, I just went ahead and pressed it into, pressed the seeds into the soil and covered them up. And it's fairly simple. It's a basic process. Uh, and I, again, depending on your seed size, you may be able to get up to four seeds in a a uh, little pellet. But as you can see it they're pretty pliable and it's pretty easy to go ahead and and plant your seeds in the little pods themselves which works really really well. And this was just to show you what it looked like after I planted them so basically it's the same. Um, then what you do is you can just water them lightly once again and I just use whatever remaining water I had in my glass just to make sure that they were moist and you go ahead and you just place them in a sunny area. Um, depending on uh, your location in your part of the country, you can actually start these indoors. And then once they get to a certain size, you can transplant the plants. But I'll get more to that in just a little bit. So um, this was just to show you basically what it looked like once I put the top on. And it, again, it's very straightforward, very simple. I place them in a sunny spot and it actually starts to have its own condensation. So this was about an hour after I planted them, so stay tuned. So hi everybody, I want to give you guys a little more information on this Jiffy windowsill greenhouse um, kit. So basically, as I mentioned, I did a um, product review for Jiffy. I was kind enough, or the, I reached out to them a number of years ago. I think it was 2017. And I asked if they collaborated with you know bloggers and stuff, and they were really nice and they sent me out some seeds and stuff. Well, I really did love these little windowsill um, greenhouse kits. So I picked one up the other day to give you guys an update on anything that may have changed over the years. So this was just, again, the outside of the little box. And they're sold in a variety of different sizes. This one happened to be 12. I think they go up to like 24 or larger. They may go up to a larger size as well. Um, I like them because they're really easy to use and this kit, which is still together, I actually purchased two. Let me take it out so you guys can see it. It's basically, again, everything that you need. So it comes with your lid, it comes with your little pods, as you see, and your little container. The thing that I like about these little, let me take it out, these little pods or pellets is that you can they rehydrate and then once your seeds grow to a select size to transplant, all you do is you take them out of the container 
and you transplant them into a new pot. So you can actually break up this pot because this little pot is biodegradable, which is great. I also like that you can actually purchase these uh, separately. So if your little plastic container is still good and you want to, say, plant other seeds later on in the season, you just can pick these up if you can find them locally or order them. And you can um, just keep using your kit until it's either broken or you can't really find the little pod, the pellets anymore. But all in all, technically, you're not really throwing anything away, so it's pretty good. Um, I also like that the little pellets are easy to rehydrate. So you just, again, add, I think it was a cup and a half of warm water. Um, not too hot because it says warm. And just let them rehydrate, which works. But these little kits are pretty come in handy, especially if you live in parts of the country where you have frost or you have things like that where you can start your stuff inside. Um, I will say germination time for seeds will vary depending on um, the hour of sun that the little kit gets and as you saw it creates its own condensation so you will want to check on it at least every day or depending on where you leave it how much sun exposure it gets to daily or every other day to make sure that it's not too too moist inside or it's not drying out either um the day that i planted my bean seeds it was really sunny and they still haven't sprouted yet so i'll give you guys an update once they actually start to sprout but um other than that i really do like these because they're they're not extremely expensive and they're just easy to use. So it saves time and effort on having to have all your little seedlings in a bunch of little pots if you live in an apartment or if you, again, live somewhere where um, you might not always have uh, availability to outdoor space. So, I mean, it's worth a try. And I'll add the links to um, where I found the products in the description below. So have a good day, everybody. Bye.